Oh, shit. <laughs> You're letting the tower crumble on some shit fire signs, huh? Hold on. Pick up my little plant here. Okay. So you're letting things... You're letting some things go. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's clear out the energy. I didn't even start my music. I was just like, let's just dive in. We're diving into it. So let's see what's going on. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed if I say it's you. It could be your person. I do talk a little dirty. Rootsandrewards.com if you'd like to purchase a read from me. And no, that tarot is for entertainment purposes, but also to give you some clarity to your situation. Deep breath. All right, let me get my music here. Patience is a virtue. So I think that you guys are trying to practice patience the best that you can. I did a little pre-shuffle here for you guys. Let's get the music here. Come on. There we go. All right. Let me say a little prayer. Get started. Okay. So fire signs. You may have to get a massage or do some neck exercises. Your neck may be all out of whack and stiff. Maybe somebody's wanting to come in and give you a little massage. I feel like <laughs> with the pre-shuffle that's out here, I feel that somebody really likes how you validate them. You stroke on their ego very nicely or this is what they do to you. So somebody, I feel, wants to stroke on you and pump and dump. <laughs> so somebody may want to plant a baby in you because you stroke their ego so nicely or you're wanting to plant a baby in this person because they stroke you nice all right that's nice okay we're gonna see where it goes all right just so you're cleaning up a messy situation here you may have to you know dust the house vacuum you know move the couches a little bit and get the crumbs from places that you normally don't go that may help open your energy up all right so fire signs what's going on you're coming out of hermit mode you're coming out of introspection you're coming out of the dark places all right so that's maybe why you want to sweep up or vacuum up some old energies that were lingering around aries aquarius uh virgo energy you're leaping on. You're leaping away from being cloaked away. You could, could have taken yourself out of the party scene or out of like social um, arrangements. I think you guys have taken your time to gain more wisdom about where you want to go in the future and how to get there. So you may have a habit of pulling back and retracting uh, to gain that wisdom. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. That's good that you, you've you gone within to see where you have been a fool maybe, where you have been impulsive. Um, you know, looking at things that you have jumped into in the past without thinking. All right. So now you're moving away from... You know, being by yourself, maybe feeling lonely, and you're ready to have a good time. I feel like there's laughter, good communication coming in. King of Swords. You, you know, you're fire signs, right? You take a lot of action, very passionate about, you know, life and enthusiastic. But I think you, you also are very analytical you, you think a lot. You get up in your head. I think you do have very good, clear communication. 
I think you are going from feeling as if you're you've been moving in foolish behavior to you know what being more logical being more more stern with your moves as you progress forward so I feel like somebody likes to be outside either by the mountains or the forest three of wands is in reverse So you're cutting through something here that you are waiting on. You're waiting for your ships to come in, maybe with this person. And you're no longer waiting. You're setting your boundaries and you're, you know, cutting off things that uh, make you go backwards or make you feel like a fool. So somebody may have made you feel like you ain't shit, like you're the fool. Which I see that you guys maybe were sitting in some foolish tendencies. We all do, right? We all have that shadow. But I see that you have looked at that. You, you've looked at yourself. There's somebody watching here with the Page of Swords. Watching. Just This person's watching and just wanting, like waiting to communicate with you. But the, the communication is coming in. I think this person that is coming towards you is showing you a lot of value. This person will validate you. This person will give you some type of stability or make you feel like really good. This person may even draw you out of this introspection period. So what you've gained by taking time to focus on yourself, you've gained more value in self. You've possibly... Uh, got your your finances up maybe cleared up some um, uh, what is it called cleared up some loans or some bills here yeah your finances I think there was some things that you had to clear up financially you might have been a little foolish with your money really you know, uh, easily to give. I think you guys are, are givers. So you may have just been like, here, you know, wanting to give to other people, but being foolish in that way. But I feel like you're changing that. You're being more reserved with your finances, uh, more greedy with it, which is good. So you are coming out of this foolish energy where you're hiding feelings, hiding emotions, or any type of maybe deception that you were sitting in. So you're coming out of the moonlight. You're coming out of this uh, little bit of a depression, darkness, overwhelmed in feelings. So you're getting more in the headspace now. You're getting out of your emotions and you're getting, you're trying to think a little bit clearer about a king of pentacles you could becoming you could be becoming this king of pentacles so there's two kings on this table right now king of pentacle pentacles and a king of swords you may want to communicate with an earth sign that's a very hard worker they like work they have their stability they hold a lot of value. They're coming up as a king. Whether it's a king or a queen, it doesn't matter about gender. Let's see. So the waiting and watching is wrapping up. Yeah. this These towers that have gone on, you're walking away from it. You're not trying to continue to rebuild it. You're just letting it crash and burn. You may have your eye on someone here for the Ace of Cups. Like there's watching here. So whether this is you watching someone else or they're watching you or maybe you're watching each other. There's flying in with, uh, I want to, I want to love on you. I want to express my emotions. I now, somebody now sees that you have a lot more love of self. There is... 
there's lily pads so you may you may go to a pond or something where there's lily pads lily flowers here maybe you connect with frogs or this is just this energy of like i want to leap into you and I don't really care if it's a little unsteady because you know when the frogs leap on the lily pads, they kind of move and shift, but they hold the frog up. I feel that somebody is really coming in to, to nurture you. I feel like watering the garden, like making sure that the connection thrives and it, you build it. This person hopes that you're not going to go back in your shell so you may connect with turtles uh, back in your shell after they express like their love and care, concern for you and that they want to invest and wow, the Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Pentacles in the same row. So that's really telling me that you really have made some big changes in your behavior on how you see yourself and how you deal with the outside world this is also saying whoever this person is is bringing a lot of fortune with them they're they're a blessed person highly blessed highly favored they come with stability they come uh to turn the wheel in their favor nice you're getting out of your head. You may have felt trapped in your head for the last uh, eight, I would say eight months or since August. You're coming out of feeling bound and trapped in your own thoughts. So this King of Pentacles, King of Swords, what's that about? That's the, and the death card. Somebody's praying for you. There may have been an ending with this person or there's just a transformation that's coming in, or this is just saying ending of old patterns, having an ego death. Maybe you and this person have both gone through your spiritual awakenings. I see prayer. I see a priest here. Just You may be going back to church or going back to your faith. Um, somebody's going to hire counsel, therapy, um, spiritual advisors, just like we're asking their divine team like how do i proceed forward uh you may not want a death here you may not want an ending with this person so i'm feeling more of like a transformation after releasing old ways like releasing bullheadedness stubbornness lack of good communication after the tower you know, you just, you just, you, I think you guys threw yourself out of whatever this was that, whatever this was that was disrupting you. There's Aries, Scorpio energy here. So you could have decided, you know what, I'm going to pull myself out of this relationship. I'm going to, you know, leave this house. Or kick someone out and not continue to wait wait and watch for a person to change behavior or you know give you what you need out of the partnership you just you just bailed or you just push this person out so the tower with the three of wands three of wands yeah you you kick this person out the two of cups is in reverse because you you were you weren't feeling like they were soulmates you you couldn't emotionally open up to them there was no understanding emotionally you wanted a new emotional beginning some of you may have a um a phoenix tattoo either on the chest or the full length of the back or maybe this is something that you're wanting to go and get because raising above the ashes, rising above the ashes, the phoenix, right? Spreading your wings and flying above it all. Yeah, eight of pentacles, working on yourself. You guys definitely are working on yourself. You're working on getting your pentacles. I think you're a very hard worker. I think you possibly are good with your hands. 
you may create some art, you may paint. Uh, this person or this person uh, paints and they do electrical work and plumbing and they're just like hard at work could be into carpentry like you could be rebuilding uh something here with the guy on the bench with the hammer in his hand like hard at work uh somebody's releasing some burden somebody's releasing some heavy responsibilities this person's not trying to come in and put a heavy weight on your back so that's good getting the chills so your spirit guides are really um helping to guide you to to a really nice nice person here let's see so the eight of swords your car may be on empty right now you may have to go to the gas station so be careful that you don't wind up with no gas like running out of gas um knight of cups so somebody isn't running out of gas they they'll gas you up they will gas you up with a couple love in hand messages of love look ten of cups wish fulfillment so yeah you may have created some endings in your life here but you created those endings with that person for a reason now you have uh someone else coming in to give you the ten of cups that wish fulfillment Someone may come with two children, four children, or this could be uh, bringing children together on both sides. Somebody likes the country, country life, country music maybe. Magician. So you have realized that this connection that you were working on for maybe the last 10 months 18 months 10 years eight years 18 years wasn't wasn't cutting it for you 17 17 on the clock okay it could be twins um so this could be twin flame union divine masculine meeting divine feminine just balanced you know both of you are balanced in your energy for what okay so twin flame confirmation with the four of wands judgment what was i saying i get, i'm getting too many messages right now so you notice that this person really wasn't giving into you lovingly so you started to shape shift you started to uh, learn how to manifest things and looking at the relationship and saying is this can I see myself in this dynamic for the long haul? Is it until like infinity and beyond? Can it go that way? And I think you notice that this person really didn't have all the tools that you needed to make you happy. So you were comfortable and content in this relationship with this person. So I think you're manifesting a better outcome for yourself you're becoming this master manifester and as you do that as you work hard on yourself loving yourself there's somebody over here that's you know keeping an eye on you watching you uh loving you possibly from a distance caring about you wanting to work work on the connection give you what you want and they want that happy healthy partnership with you so this person will be making a judgment call to come on, come in and you know they don't want to compete for your time and attention but they know that there's other competitors they're hoping that there isn't somebody else that you know they're hoping that you're not just yeah trotting around town sagittarius this person's hoping that you're not going to make them battle for your time and attention that you're you know that you're serious about investing and serious about abundance and starting a relationship starting a family or bringing families together with them they're hoping that you're serious because they're serious this person is very serious about you the ten of cups with the ten of pentacles the magician and the four of wands with the ace of cups with the ace of pentacles with the wheel of fortune like <sighs> this person's going to show you a lot of patience and they know that you have competitors 
they're hoping that you choose to pour into them and get rid of all the other competitors. So they want to clear out your competitors and they want to give you the Ten of Cups, Sagittarius. So this could be a Sagittarius energy or that's you. And I think there's going to be a lot of patience between the, the two of you, a lot of understanding between the two of you. So if you're manifesting a healthy, happy partnership, abundant partnership, you're getting it. If you're manifesting your work, your investments, turning around, that's going to start thriving for you. I think this person that comes in, their energy is going to help you persevere forward. So their, their support that they're going to be giving you is going to launch you in a really good direction. So this person's going to inspire you uh, to go after your dreams, go after your goals. They're going to work with you and not against you. The, this person, I don't feel like I'm getting chills. I don't feel like this person's trying to hold you back. So this, this relationship may end in marriage. Yeah, they're not trying to get you all up in your head. You're going you're gonna to get out of your head. Like once this starts, you're going to get comfortable. It's going to be comfortable with this person. Because you're coming out of that ego. You're coming out of sabotaging yourself. Real nice. You're coming out of, you know, maybe your own thievery where you've escaped. Or maybe you were avoidant, attachment style, dismissive, fearful attachment. And now you're becoming more secure uh, within yourself. So you can be more secure in your relationships. I like it. That's looking... That's looking good. Oh, I don't need all that. All right, give me a second. My nose is running. Let's see where we're going from here. I do feel like there is a little um, tension that you have to release. All right, so who's this person coming in? Fire signs for a commitment, Hierophant, Taurus energy. This person with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is very wise. They're very spiritually gifted. They have a lot of wisdom. This person may be like an old spirit. Emperor, so they are an emperor. <laughs> Cup of love from a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person is viewing you as this emperor or this empress. They see you they see you at your full potential. Even if you don't feel like you're at your full potential, this person sees that you are you are on your way to something really really special and they they like that you have love of yourself. And that's why they come in, like overflowing this fountain, fountain of love, fountain of youth. I think both of you look very youthful uh, for your age. You look much younger than your age. Um, the queen of pentacles is just sitting really, sitting very secure in their stability. This person's sitting and working on themselves. This person may like to cook they may be bringing you like chocolate covered strawberries wow this is really nice so there's a mature person here that comes in as you have gained your maturity you may be going to central park where there's a big um like fountain in the middle of the park at night see the moon card so this person isn't going to hide their feelings for you they're not coming in they're not rowing into you with deception this person illumination world this person's waiting to see if you're wanting to travel with them if you're wanting to uh, move forward with them. Leo energy. See? They're waiting. 
for enlightenment. They're bringing in enlightenment here. So they have a question for you. This person's going to be asking you a question. King of Pentacles. See you grabbing the bull by its horns. Let me be courageous. Let me come in with love energy. Let me come in with stability. Let me show this person how much uh, I care for them and how um, proud I would be to move towards th them. With the Eight of Wands, they're coming in quick. This person, next eight days or so. Possibly August birthday, or that's you. Somebody is definitely becoming more confident in their energy. Right. You may like a lot of colorful artwork. You may wear a lot of colorful clothes. Very abstract art you could have in your home. Uh, there's also like country western stuff in the home for some of you. Six of Pentacles I want to share with you. Sharing is caring. Giving and receiving gifts with one another. Somebody, this person comes in and they're like, I see that you're single. I see, you know, you might have, oh, this person bared it all to you. They're bearing it all to you. They're the nine of pentacles. Listen, I know you're single or I'm single. I want to balance things with you. I want this to be a justified connection. I want you to... You know, would you like to travel with me? Would you like to start something with me? Would you like to get a little bit more serious with me? So somebody is going to try to take you off the market. <laughs> I feel like they're planting the seeds. Next six to eight to nine days. So the next six to eight to nine months from now, there's going to be... Um, talking about let's become serious here let's justify let's balance this relationship king of pentacles and the ace of cups the hangman is in reverse so getting unstuck it's not going to stay stuck it's not going to stay stagnant you're not going to feel lifeless with this person or like you're drowning underwater even though this person can come up stubborn, or maybe that's you, I think there is good resolve because of the communication you guys have with one another. Two of Cups, soulmate, Eight of Wands. So this Queen of Pentacles. So what's centering the read right now is the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups traveling in. Feeling soulmates, feeling a lot of emotions for one another feeling like you gotta move you gotta move towards this person to give and take that that reciprocation i think you're gonna realize that this person is very attracted to you all right he so wants i pleasure you you pleasure me you know i feel that you guys are not going to have to hide the passion for one another it's going to be very opened and very strong very supportive leo very supportive this person likes how you can support yourself and you have independence and you uh you look to transform your life that's really sexy to this person wheel of fortune again same fucking row is it if there's any settlements here settlements divorces closing of houses uh i was also getting like investment banking if you have anything in the stock market <laughs> there's abundance here it's going to be just for you your empire is growing this empire is growing Real nice. Ace of swords. So you got three aces out now, and that's the truth of the matter. 
this person comes in very truthful very honest very cut to the chase like i want to explore you i want to feel you i want to toast i want to celebrate with you i want to relax with you let's go let's go to the northern northern lights let's go to iceland let's go somewhere where we can heal let's go to a healing place let's go to the spa let's go um let's help each other heal let's help each other grow i see you as the star here so this person sees you in a very high light my collective is all romantic this week because the earth signs was the same thing connecting there was a lot of fire sign in that read so i feel like this is you know coming over from that ace of wands so very sexually drawn uh to one another but it this goes deeper than sex i really feel like it goes deeper yeah six of cups yeah it goes to like growing feeling childlike with one another there's an innocence between the two of you here somebody likes when you wear off the shoulder shirts or you let your your shoulders like tank tops and stuff they like how your back is or your shoulders are very nice very nice looking all right strength card leo energy oh, two of pentacles in reverse they're not gonna rock they're not wishy-washy about you they're not gonna rock you back and forth they're not gonna juggle you between people none of it all right let's see what time are we at 31 51 they got a whole lot of love love this person will have unconditional love for you this person understands that you're going to have your flaws but they're going to look past some of your flaws as long as you show that you're healing some aspects of yourself because they feel like i'm not perfect so i can't i can't expect this person to have perfection but if they're willing to work on their flaws and make themselves better um i can deal with it right so there's going to be affection and attraction shown for one another. There's going to be a lot of self-love here. And this may be a sudden change. This may be a surprise, uh, surprise invitation that they, you know, send out to you. Um, somebody's having epiphany and they want to tell you how they've grown, how they've transformed. Karmic relationship. This person got rid of a karmic relationship they're fleeting they were triggered they were in some turmoil or this is you and they're letting go and they're coming to love you wow there's a lot of passion between the two of you grim reaper yep someone's saying to that ex they're putting an axe into the ex and walking away so you're telling your ex or they're telling their ex or maybe both of you telling your exes you know what you're fucking grim reaper you're out of chances. I'm not trying to transform with you. I'm avoiding conversations. And there's an axe in it. It's a de dead end. It's, a, it's done. It's done. So clearing that away. That was the tower here. Yeah, because there was backstabbing going on. There was a lot of backstabbing, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain, a lot of deception, a lot of shocking attacks. The snake dealing with the snake snake in the grass there was competition there's enemy there's the other woman there was malicious look over your shoulder so i think somebody was very revengeful very spiteful and i don't believe that goes over there that goes over here so coffee talk you're going to be be meeting up with this person maybe over coffee and tea and you know you're conversating and savoring the moment and it's just feeling very uplifted and there's you know a friendship between the two of you digging it all right let's see further messages i put more i made more to go into this so let me even though I already picked two from the pre-shuffle, but we're gonna get gonna get more. All right, further message. Fire. 
fire signs. No more love here. Mm -hmm. That's your past. Once you go black, you won't go back. So you could be dealing with somebody that's a different nationality that's going to, you know, maybe you're, you, you're certain, you have a certain type and then you meet this person and like, oh, damn, <laughs> this is my type. That past wasn't my type. Um, seductress and shitty person. So somebody was in a lot of uh, sexual energy and they were being shitty to the other person. So seductress. Yeah, holding tightly of you with their sexual energy. Mm. So somebody may have had sexual addictions. Uh, divine orchestrating this new connection is divinely orchestrated. These are hard to shuffle. Let me just do this. Smelly ass. Ooh. Okay. So shitty, smelly ass person. <laughs> All right. So maybe it felt like, yeah, something smelled a little fishy with this person. They weren't quite right. Uh, winning the lotto. All right. You see that abundance? See the change in finances there with you guys? Nice. Very nice. Shoot. Can we work on it? First family millionaire. So that's what this person's coming in to say. You know what? I just got my money up. I hit the million. I won the lotto. I got my shit together. I want to share. Can we work on it? Like, this is what I'm bringing to you. This is what I'm providing for you. And somebody's going to be bitter about uh, you and this person coming together. There's a bitter Betty. But it's divinely orchestrated. So no one can stop it. This is a good read. But let's see who the bitter Betty is. They're mad that you're getting your finances. They're mad that you're getting a healthy, like, beautiful, handsome uh, person that's going to stay by your side. Leo, it could be a Leo that's not going to be happy with it. It could be a Cancer that's not going to be happy with it. But you see, Leo is making a judgment to continue to travel towards you. Like... This person is going to continue to travel towards you and show you strength, show you vulnerability, and uh, detach themselves from the past. Yeah, walking away, you see? Walking away from fighting with people. Now, this doesn't have to be, you know, a relationship that they're walking away from. Maybe it is. Maybe they have, you know, friends and family that they're walking away from. Old jobs, you know, old narratives. So who's the person of bitter? Bitter, bitter Betty. Somebody that they rejected. Or somebody that you rejected. King of Wands. King of Wands rejected this person. Leo Aries Sage. You rejected this person. You attracted your uh, excitement for them. Pisces and that's why they're bored they're sitting in a little bit of nostalgia and dissatisfaction and this person feels some type of way or they're gonna feel some type of way when you have this relationship this is where this person as soon as they see you get into this nice partnership or you get these finances they're gonna be all caught up in the head they don't they don't know if they're gonna they're going left or right uh, all they do, all they see is you laughing and dancing and smiling like they've never seen. They're going to be wrapped up in the headspace. Sitting there watching like, what the fuck is going on? How did this, how did this turn out this way? Well, it 
turned out that way because you sat yourself down and you did the work. You got yourself out of the, the mental, out of your traumas. So you did the work. To see, you did the work to row away from the fucking conflict, the thunderstorms, you know, that you were having with this person. Whether you were right or wrong, they were right or wrong. It don't fucking matter. You pulled yourself out of it, and you you got your maturity. You got the right chess piece on how to maneuver out of it and how to become better, how to love yourself more, choose yourself more, and how to love somebody properly like how how to love more how to love self more and how to really fill into somebody else so it's looking good there's a whole couple of love here somebody may like uh parfaits or poke bowls at a mommy you might like japanese food oh you're gonna be holding hands loving on each other with the empress so the empress meets the emperor daddy meets the mom both may have children. You both may want two children. Uh, somebody, I'm telling you, pump and dump in. You may become pregnant with this person. Just just be careful with that. Um, there's a lot of love energy with the two of you. Both could wear like beaded bracelets like this. I see you guys matching in a lot of uh, ways uh, with the how you think. You both want to build and grow and become better. Like there's a want of like, let's, let's do better for ourselves and for each other. I'm really digging this energy this week. All right. So I did sexy time going down the zodiac signs with the earth signs, so we're going to do the same for you guys. We're going to do it really quick. All right. Let's see here. What are we going to start with? Let's see. All right. We're going to start with Sagittarius. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, Cancer, Libra, Taurus. And that's all of them. All right. I'm live every Thursday night. 7 p.m. Eastern time for your collective reads. Come and join over here and on TikTok. Everything's in the description box below. I take cash at PayPal and Venmo if you like to make cash donations. If the guidance is helping you think about it, it's definitely uh, needed. And I do have an Amazon wish list on my link tree link if you'd like to purchase a gift for my channel. I like getting gifts. So you're coming out of a crossroads. You're getting anchored down here. Um, you were at a crossroads about where you wanted to anchor down. I, I feel like you didn't know what was happening. So the stability was rocked. Uh, someone's st going to stop peeping, stop watching you. Could have a J name, October 9th birth date, October 22nd, uh, March 5th, May 3rd. Two J names. So whip. Somebody may drive a nice whip. Somebody may work with um, transportation, sanitation. Birds. You may connect with birds. These, these bitter people. I think this X. I think it's like an X. X person, they're talking back and forth with their friends about you. And they may have blonde hair. So you're whipping yourself into shape. So I feel like there was two people that, that was watching you. Your ex and the ex's friend. 
it's not they're not doing it anymore they're not watching you anymore clover you may connect with clover too so your wishes are being granted wishes are being granted woman so there's a good woman coming in uh a name j name aj j maybe ring yeah they have a, they're they're going to be proposing to you or proposing that they're wanting to anchor down with you all right let's see if you're dealing with we're going to go down the zodiac we're starting with Sagittarius, so fire signs dealing with a fellow Sag. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Fire signs dealing with a fellow Sag. Okay. So this person's traveling in towards you to show support, to show that they want to grab your titties or grab a hold of your package this person wants to travel the world with you show you how ambitious they are to you they want to um row away from storms they want to plant the seeds they want uh to have clear communication with you they want to spank on you a little bit this person's sneaking up behind you i'm telling you they like they like your back and they may like uh, when you wear green. You may look really nice in emerald green. You may be Russian or you could be bringing this person uh, to a, like a Russian banya. A Russian spa here. So this Sagittarius. There was a little bit of a, a questioning here with this person but they're embracing they're embracing you and having um heart to heart conversations letting you know that they they're not trying to walk away from you they're trying to actually pull you closer pull you into the their cleavage pull you into their chest so expect the sagittarius to come in to pull you a little closer the emperor the, that person matured all right if you're dealing with an aries Somebody was like really in their ego, like the insecure ego. Fire signs dealing with a fellow Aries. Mm. So six of pentacles, not feeling really reciprocated by this person. You probably given more to this person than they were giving you. You're opening doors, you're, you know, cherishing them. And it was a lot of waiting around for this person to do the same for you. The three of wands, I'm feeling like you shouldn't wait for this person to come back in. Because they couldn't reciprocate you for the last three to six years. This person could be 36, born in 63. They couldn't do that. They, You see, they couldn't fill into you emotionally for the last couple of years or the last three to six months. You have to stop expecting this Aries to come in and fill you up. You're going to, if you, if this person, if you go back towards this person or you stay with this person, they're going to continue to suck you of all your love energy. You're going to have to keep doing and doing for them and not get anything in return. So nine of swords, you're going to still be in mental conflict, begging for this person to do better. That Aries, I don't know, this Aries that you guys are dealing with, Earth Signs too, it's it's just stuck. Hangman, it's just stuck. It needs to stay stuck with that Aries. All right, there's a Capricorn that, you know, is here with the Six of Cups. They're feeling nostalgic. This person does um, see themselves in you. I feel like there's a youthful energy between this Capricorn and you. Oh, there's commitment. There is commitment with this person. So this person is pretty wise. I feel there there is... Um, you know what I'm feeling off of this? My ear is super itchy. Somebody may be having problems with their ears or some kind of... Um, 
I don't know, dryness in the ears. Uh, maybe you have to clear your ears of wax. You might have wax buildup or something. I feel it more around here. So maybe you have earrings. I don't know. What I'm feeling off, off of this with the Six of Cups and the Hierophant, there may be like a past life uh, recognition with this person. They, it feels like you've already had a connection with this person. It feels very um, deep, like in depth. I think they're, they're pretty spiritually gifted or guided or they have an understanding uh, of spirituality or religion. I see cranes that are flying here. Somebody may be a crane operator. Somebody wants to feed you well. <laughs> they want to feed you. They want to cook for you. They want to take you out. They, they're they like just shoving <laughs> buttered rolls down your throat. <laughs> they're like here. They're just like, they're sweet. They're sweet. I feel like with this Capricorn, you feel like a very magnetic connection. Wheel of Fortune. This is the person that's bringing you the Wheel of Fortune. They're abundant in spirit. They're abundant. Getting a hold of you, Leo. Um, strength card. They come in support. See, this person, this person, they're just like, let me add. Let me, let me add them. This Capricorn. Let me add them. This person is manifesting travel plans with you. They're manifesting traveling towards you, grabbing a hold of you, and showing that they can be your backbone. It's looking good with this one. So there's heart to heart conversations with this Capricorn. I think it's very, you guys can speak very freely to one another. What's going to be happening with the Capricorn and fire signs? They want to spank you. <laughs> Knight of Swords. See the communication? Somebody got nice, nice ass, nice abs. Very fit. They want to pull your hair. They want to get you in bed. Ace of Wands. They want to whisper sweet nothings to you. They want intimacy. They want the Ten of Cups. Shit. Ten of Pentacles. See, they want partnership. They're going to be submissive to you. They're going to coddle you and stroke on you oh so nicely. They're emotionally available. They're walking right into you. They do have a mysterious way about them. They're probably really locked in with um, their divine team. Very um, mystical, magical being. Very observant. Mysterious. All right. So that was Capricorn. Gemini. If you're dealing with the Gemini, fire signs. You're dealing with the Gemini. Whew, that was a lot there. This person, that Capricorn might take your breath away. Um, Gemini, hmm, they're sneaking up behind you, but they're a little... <coughs> oh, bless me. Yeah, they're non-committal. They're a little wishy-washy. They may be rocking you. That's the truth. They be, may be rocking you with someone else. Mm. Gemini and fire signs. Shit. <coughs> oh my god. You may have to clear this person out. They're dusty and musty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Sagittarius. Mm. There's no victory with this person. They're dusty. They got illusions. They got multiple options. They may be putting you in a delusional state of mind. Eh, get out. Empress. Become the Empress. Knight of Swords. Cut them off. Stop trying to play with this Gemini. Dusty Musty. I don't really feel good energy with that Gemini. I think you uh, need to express yourself more with that person. They cut your expression off. You can't express yourself clearly or freely. Okay, fire signs dealing with a Virgo. Dealing with a Virgo. What's going on with the Virgo and the fire signs? Virgo is hermit <laughs> right there. The Virgo card with the judgment call. Somebody has taken themselves out of it. 
This person may not want to stay attached to you, even if you guys have kids with one another. Uh, the Three of Cups, there may be a third party influence, maybe another person that came between you guys or family, you know, lover or family member. They want to make the best judgment call for the kids, this Virgo, but they're just like, I ain't going to be nostalgic about you anymore. I want an ending. So there's an ending. They feel like you're a thief, this Virgo. So, yeah, they want death. <laughs> they want the Grim Reaper to come for you and give you karma. All right. Not looking good for the Virgo. Scorpio. Fire signs dealing with the Scorpio. Going down with the Scorpio. Things are going to be balanced with the Scorpio. Um, after possible third party or some kind of interference, there's the Eight of Swords. All right. So you were sitting in a lot of some mental conflict. Somebody was sitting in their addictions or obsessions. But that's going to be balancing out. Somebody feels like you look amazing in this like baby blue. You may be Cinderella for uh, Halloween. High Priestess. Uh, somebody hides their discrepancies. Somebody hides their addictions. I don't feel like this person wants you to cut them off. The Scorpio. Uh, we'll see how it comes outcome is they want to plant the seeds and they want you to love them they want a new emotional beginning they want to come in and give you love they know what they did was wrong uh that was scorpio aquarius fire signs dealing with an aquarius all right somebody's been sitting in some disappointment they're continuing to keep the door open for you Someone is aware that they have to make changes before they can open the gate. Five of swords. So they have to stop sabotaging themselves. They have to stop some type of sabotage uh, in order to come into you. To give you the ten of cups. They have to show you that they can become a hunter and provider for you. What's the outcome? Aquarius. Tower moments. So they're going through tower moments in karma. They got a lot of burden on their back for how they treated you. Five of cups. They're sitting in disappointment. There's a judgment call being made to. All right. So this person got to work some shit out. They're thinking about past memories, but they're not able to take action towards you. So right now they're making a judgment call just to cloak away from you to become wiser about why they move the way that they move. Pisces. Fire signs dealing with a Pisces. Eight. Uh, fire signs dealing with Pisces. Eight of swords in reverse. King of cups is in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in reverse. Hmm. I think you fire signs are getting out of your head about this person. You know, you're seeing that this person is really not emotionally available for you. Ooh, that they're a fool. That you may have to walk away from this person. They ain't going to give you too much stability here. They're not emotionally stable. They're a foolish in their energy. So you may want to walk from this person. Maybe just tangling you up and wrangling you up for sexual encounters. That's what I get here. Yeah. Cancer. Oh, hermit. Yeah, this person may take themselves out quite a lot and just take themselves away from you. And yeah, it looks like this person's going to cause you uh, some swords in the back. You're going to see this person fucking somebody else out the window while you pitch, pinch your own tits. So. Mm, I think you're going to feel rejected and lonely with this person. All right. Libra. Fire signs dealing with a Libra. Okay. Libra. There's a lot of fucking heartbreak with this one. There's, uh, all right, you felt like you love this person and they, 
they really got you in a lot of conflict. A lot of... Oh, a lot of headaches with this Libra. Um, this person may be married. They're crinkling up. You know, they're wanting to send messages. But then they're crinkling it up. And... They just put you in a bad spot. They put you between people, this Libra. You're going to be coming out of lack energy with this person, but you're understanding that this Libra isn't going to claim you or they can't claim you and give you stability with the King of Pentacles. You are hoping that this person would give you stability maybe you're hoping this person would leave this other person but i don't think any of that's happening i think this person loves your body they love your warmth but that's it there's not there's not much more this person is an emperor in reverse so they're egotistical they like your validation and you have to balance this for yourself and go somewhere else for the two of cups libra so that libra is going somewhere else for the love energy. They're coming to you for the sexual energy. Taurus. Fire signs. Dealing with the Taurus. There's a little bit of tower moments with that Taurus. But I feel like after those tower moments with that Taurus. They are going to show some type of um, effort. But it just may not be enough effort for you. They're going to try to come and schmooze you. There's hiding with the moon energy. Deception. Lying, cheating, stealing going on with the Taurus. Six of Pentacles. It's it's not really that balanced. It's not even reciprocation. Okay. So I feel like you guys thought this Taurus was going to come in and put effort into you, but it wound up being that it's not enough. It's not enough. They hold back their feelings. And, uh, yeah, you have to make changes, seeing that this person's not going to bring you abundance. Yeah, so you might cloak away from them. They may have uh, ghosted you, this person. I don't see this, any kind of abundance with that Taurus energy. All right, so that's it for the Zodiacs. Let me know in the comments if you like this. Throw up anything. Throw me back into the algorithm so other people can get this message and I could build my channel. We're building really nicely, but it helps uh, if the community, you know, talks. And the more you talk to me, the easier it is for me to pull on your energy to give you the best guidance possible. Uh, but I would say expect this, this nice person to come in for you after you were just traumatized, possibly from your past. Okay. Um, you know I fuck with you. That's what this person's saying. You know I fuck with you. You're tasty. You're tasty. I fuck with you. Like, <laughs> let's go eat. Do you want to go out with me? So somebody is like, I'm committal. So this is, I'm not non-committal. Somebody's like, I'm committal. I'm ready. I know that you've been traumatized. I fuck with you. You're tasty. Do you want to go out with me? Let's go eat and start this shit. That's basically what they're saying. All right, so hope you enjoyed the read. Hope he gave you some clarity to your situation. I appreciate all likes, donations, kind words you give me on a daily basis, and I will see you again soon. Uh, air signs and earth signs, air signs and water signs. I will be doing these like mini reads for you in the next couple days, so keep an eye out for those. And remember, if you want me to keep these reads going, if you want them to stay this long, you have to engage with me. You know, I got to feel like, you know, it's um, reciprocated, that you're listening and that you're, you know, you're liking what you're hearing. All right. And that's it. Keep yourself in high regard. Bye, guys. Have a happy Halloween, too. <laughs>